Good morning, everyone. It's currently winter. Let me just adjust. Hi, everyone. Crandall University is going to the Philippines. Now, it's something, at least for me, it's something big because obviously the university holds dear to my heart. I want to talk briefly about how I discovered the school. I'm just checking my notes here real quick. How I discovered Crandall was because of its program. There was a website before that I kept searching and then there's a filter in the website where you can choose how long you want to study for and degree that you want to take. And so when I searched a one-year master's degree, there were two schools that popped up and one of them, I forgot what school it was, but it's somewhere in the major provinces. And then another in Moncton here, which is Crandall. Obviously, like realistically, my end goal was to get PR here, which is permanent residence. And based from my research from international students or workers who experienced hardships in getting PR, that major provinces is not, at least for me, is not the ideal um, scenario of getting PR. Like, I, I was kind of forecasting the possible um, complications if I pursue studies in, ma in in a major province or I would say like a province that's over that's already overpopulated and you know Canada really encourages immigrants um, but also we need to be smart in deciding our pathways to take going back I was so curious like where is this mountain? Where is it located? So I obviously searched it in Google Maps. It's in New Brunswick. And I'm like, what is New Brunswick? So I know that it's already in Atlantic Canada. Now, I, the program is important to me because I know for a fact that my end goal is to be PR. But then because I'm taking the study pathway, I want to maximize the learnings that I can from the degree. And the reason why I wanted to pursue a master's degree is because I already have a bachelor's degree in finance. And I also um, studied pathicity. So if it's another undergrad, uh, like at least for me, like it's a personal decision that I want to pursue higher studies. The concept of master's degree is like inculcating the studies to our actual work experiences. And that is something important for my career progression. And yeah, it's something that I take seriously because growth is an important factor for me. So yeah, so the program was very attractive in my opinion. It's a one-year master's program. So to give you an insight on the programs they offer for international students, they have a master's of organizational management to which that was my course. It's a one-year program. And then there's a master's of management and that is a little over a year. The difference between the two is that Masters of Management is longer because I, I think that it's more in-depth and there is also internship involved. Whereas Masters of Management, it's like a fast track to a master's degree um, and there's no internship involved. Now, if you're wondering if there was a risk when I applied for a one-year degree here in Canada if my end goal was permanent residence? The answer is not really. So before, when I did my research, I came across the website. Um, I think I saw it in New Brunswick. If you undergo studies um, with a certificate or a degree or a diploma, for more than eight months, then you're eligible for the post-graduation work permit. And having said that, we know that 
if you study for one year, then you'd also get a one year PGWP or post graduation work permit. But it's fine because I was still on track regardless. I digress. So during my experience in Crandall, my batch was unfortunately um, during the pandemic era. So my classmates and I had to go through a virtual learning. It was quite hard because we started in our home countries because it was virtual learning. And having said that, it was really hard. I had to adjust um, to the local time in Canada. But it wasn't really much of a stretch because it wasn't an everyday class. They always catered to the fact that the program would be a part-time thing, understanding that the students would also have, you know, part-time jobs. So I studied in the Philippines virtually for about two months and then I flew here to Canada because I was scared that they might close the borders or something. Like, you know, during the pandemic, they would open and close the borders. Um, so there's no way of knowing. So I had to take um, that leap. I was careful during my travel. I had an air, a portable air purifier that was really important. And I did quarantine and COVID tests. So I did all of those. I came here. Um, safe and sound yeah so the video for that experience was actually on my second video like it was on my early videos i was taking classes during my quarantine here it was really challenging for us because it is a master's program and therefore group presentations was practiced throughout most of the subjects and working with my classmates from different countries, meaning different time zones, um, and also like meeting them virtually at that, it was quite hard. And considering the fact that we're from different cultures, um, different mindsets, it was very challenging, but um, that is the purpose of the program, right? To expose yourself to these types of challenges, to which I really appreciated it. It was quite hectic, but at the same time, fun. You really get to practice the things that you learned throughout the, the courses. And apart from the group presentations, you also need to submit term papers. So that's what I like about the master's degree. I believe in practicality and that's my personal opinion. The master's program, like, Obviously, because it's a master's program, you need to submit term papers, to which I find it more practical because the term papers would determine how much you learned throughout the subject. It's nice if you um, inculcate it to your um, work experience. So yeah, like I really find the program attractive. So that's why I pushed through with it. And it's just one year like you can do so much so if i took like two years or more of um program for me um knowing my career progression is really important then personally like i took away that one year that i could have used back to my career that's why i just took one year so apart from the program the school i also checked the environment here like is it safe so yeah is it safe because i'm living alone like it may sound bizarre but because i'm living alone here so safety for me is a, a priority so i checked are there hospitals here are there police stations are there grocery stores like is it near is it like like how many grocery stores are there is it accessible as well as the transportation and honestly the transportation here some of them might find the transportation not the best but comparing to the transportation in the philippines like it's really safer here so i really like the transportation it'll just take you a, a long time i guess because of the routes but i mean that makes sense right because it's public transportation they now have a bus stop that directly stops outside of the Crandall campus so that was really nice um for the healthcare i'm not sure if it's 
in the entire New Brunswick or just in Moncton, but for other provinces, the international students only have the health insurance um, as a requirement. But here, I was able to apply for government healthcare, which is Medicare, right when I arrived here in Canada. So that's something big for me. It will help international students a lot, knowing that we're in a new country and we don't know when the emergency will happen, right? So the government healthcare is something um, beneficial for us. Well, apart from that, for the groceries, well, there's Walmart, Sobeys, Atlantic Superstore, like there's a lot. And there's Costco. Yeah, so my experience at Crandall was really nice. The professors are approachable. If you have questions or concerns, the staff or administration are definitely there to make your Crandall experience or your mountain experience more comfortable. Having said all of those, I hope it attracted Crandall University to you. I hope um, you would take it into consideration in terms of determining your opportunities here in Canada as a student. And I'm happy to share with you that Tyler Steckley from Crandall University is visiting um, to Manila, Cebu. And I'm not sure if Davo will still push through. So his schedule, he will be at Study in Canada Fairs in Cebu on the 10th at Seda Ayala, oh wait, what? Seda Hotel Ayala Center. And on the 11th in Manila at SMX Convec Con Conviction. <laughs> and on the 11th in Manila at the SMX Convention Center, Pasay City. And on the 17th of February, he'll be back at the same venue, SMX Manila, for another fair. Nice. Okay. And in any case that you miss uh, seeing Tyler there, it's okay. Like when you're ready to apply, there's actually an offer from Crandall that you get free application for this month for the people applying from the Philippines. And I'm gonna post that link on the description box below. I don't have time to get into and show you the, the actual application form. I haven't seen it yet. But yeah, so all throughout February, uh, the application will be free. Normally for college or university applications, there is like an... Did you hear that? <laughs> I think it's no. Anyway, there's an application fee when you submit your application. But for this month, it's totally free um, thanks to Crandall University. And it was really nice, like just a brief experience as well during my graduation i was able to take a photo with my uh toga so that was one of the first times that i went inside the campus um that was during my graduation <laughs> it was near the auditorium if i remember correctly and if if you look up there are different flags and i believe those flags are from students from different countries who have studied there yeah, I hope I'm giving you the right information, but that's what I know. <laughs> so I took the opportunity to take a photo there with the Philippine flag during my graduation. It, it was so nice. So yeah, um, even though my experience at the Crandall University was more on the virtual side, um, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it more than I did knowing that it would be more face-to-face -face now. So if you guys learned something, please like, share, and subscribe and I will see you guys on my next vlog. Bye!